for the first time ever, for the first time ever, and you guys may have to fact check me on that, we are going to be taking a look at the most submitted books into CBCS specifically for the month of October. And this information comes directly from the folks at CBCS. Prior to them grading the books, they send me the list, I create the video and present it to you guys. And if successful, we are going to be doing this video every single month. And I do believe, as I mentioned, this is the first time that we've ever been able to see what it is that people are collectively sending in to CBCS to be graded. And so I am definitely excited to provide you guys with this information, fingers crossed, on an ongoing basis. And so if you enjoyed this video, I definitely want to encourage you to comment below and to subscribe to the channel. And that way you won't miss out on any of the content that comes out from the channel. With that said, let's get to the list. Number 10 on the list is Spawn issue number one from 1992. At present, there are 1,256 total graded copies of this book on the CBCS population report with 573 of them coming in at a 9.8. Over the course of 2020, this book's value has fluctuated from a low of $119 to a high of $191. The average value for this year has been $170, with the most recent sale for this book at a 9.8 being $152. Number nine on the list is Ultimate Fallout issue number four, the first appearance of Miles Morales. At present, there are 1,122 graded copies of this book on the CBCS population report. The highest grade in the report is the 9.8, and there are a total of 168 graded copies, with 38 of them being a yellow label. According to Go Collect, there has not been a CBCS 9.8 sale since August of 2022. This book has a one-year average of $2,300. Number eight on the list is Wolverine issue number one, the ongoing series from 1988. At present, there are 606 total graded copies of this book on the CBCS population report. There are zero 9.9s and only 92 9.8s, which is and isn't a little shocking. The black cover can be tough to score a 9.8. At a 9.8, this book has a 90 and 30 day average value of just $213, which is down from its one year average of $366. I should also mention here that throughout this video, I'm going to be citing values directly from GoCollect for CBCS slabs. GoCollect has the ability to delineate between the main two grading companies, so I'm only going to be citing values for CBCS. Number seven on the list is Little Red Ronin issue number three, specifically the thank you variant from Source Point Press. I believe that the thank you variant was a one per store variant and at present there are 10 total graded copies of this book on the population report with all 10 being a 9.8. According to Go Collect, there is no sales data. Number six on the list is the first appearance of Richard Ryder, that being Nova issue number one from 1976. In December of 2021, a CBCS 9.8 sold for $932, but has since climbed steadily to a recent sale of $1,800 in October of this year. The continued rumors that Richard Ryder will be used in the MCU might be the reason why this book's value continues to be sustained over time. At present, there are 978 total graded copies of this book on the CBCS population report with 150 of them being a 9.8. Number five on the list is another Little Red Ronin book and this one is specifically issue number two, also the thank you variant. At present, there are 10 total graded copies of this book on the population report with seven of them being a 9.8 and three coming in at a 9.6. 
According to GoCollect, there is no sales data for this book. Number four is The Curse of Cleaver County Ash Can Edition. At present, there are 15 total graded copies on the population report with 14 of them being a 9.8. The Curse of Cleaver County is a horror title from indie publisher Source Point Press Publication. At present, there is no sales data for this title. Number three on the list is Venom Lethal Protector issue number one, but it's the Infinite Order Virgin exclusive published by Marvel Comics in 2022. This is a gorgeous cover, no doubt about it, and I understand why this book actually made the list. It makes perfect sense. At present, there are a total of 16 copies of this book on the pop report, with 13 of them being a 9.8. At present, there is zero sales data for this book, according to Go Collect. Number two on the list is Lobo Number One, the Comic Art House exclusive, published by DC Comics in 2022. Currently, there are 17 total graded copies of this book on the pop report, with all 17 of them being a yellow label. This book was limited to 2,000 total copies and was available at New York Comic Con specifically from the CBCS booth. And number one on the list is Little Red Ronin issue number one also the Thank You Variant. I believe that this book, like issues two and three, were also a one per store variant. I think that all three books were part of signing events with CBCS, which is part of the reason why they were able to make it to the list. All of the copies for all three issues are all yellow labels. And at present, there are a total of 10 copies of issue number one, the Thank You Variant, on the population report, with eight of them being a 9.8. Like some of the other books on the list, there is no sales data for this book. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope that you've enjoyed this first installment of the top 10 most submitted books in to CBCS. And certainly if you did, I want to encourage you to leave a comment below and to give the video a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more content from CBCS, I definitely want you to comment that below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please take the time to do that now. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at ReggieCollects. Take care.